Hi there, my name is Albert and first of all I would like to thank you for watching this video and uh, bring apologize for my bad English because uh, it's not uh, native for me but I hope you understand me. So in this video we are going to discuss uh, how to read and understand uh, automatic informational terminal system messages, shortly ITIS. So how we'll do this? Uh, we will uh, listen to real uh, information message from the real airport, split into the parts and go through each part and explain everything about it. So it's easy. But uh, before moving to this part of this video, I would like to highlight that uh, reading, brief reading, brief listening and understanding of these messages uh, you know, is uh, very essential to any pilot, even for uh, private pilots, because you know, it contains uh, current weather information, uh, weather forecast information, any other uh, urgent information for pilots, like you know, something like uh, changing the current runway and so on. So the listening of the of those messages is uh, just part of the flight planning, flight preparation, and uh, also you have to brief understand uh, those messages when you fly in, uh, when you are going to fly in uh, into the control zone, because you have to refer to this uh, message uh, to ground services when you contact to them. Okay, so let's uh, move to the main part of this uh, video and uh, go to the computer. Good evening, Virginia ATIS information. Kilo 17 V0, ILS approach, runway in use 24, transition level 50, next to way Charlie, closed, Meta, Raha, issued at 17 V0, wind 240 degrees, minor knots, visibility 10 kilometers or more, view 3700 feet, temperature 5, U.2, PNH 1025 hectopostals, no sick, you have received ATIS information, Kayla. Good evening, Krasinia ATIS. As we see, uh, this uh, is a continuous broadcast of recorded uh, non-control aeronautical information provided by busy uh, terminal zones like uh, airports uh, which contain current weather and forecast information and notams to airmen's uh, so notice uh, to pilots uh, those messages are updated regularly in uh, you know uh, the similar period of time but sometimes uh, they could update it uh, they could be updated uh, urgently in case of uh, significant changes in weather conditions or something else. Um, maybe in case of uh, new NOTAM is issued. So the main pur purpose of uh, ATIS messages, ATIS messages are uh, to remove load to ground services and uh, give pilots uh, all necessary information uh, is uh, needed during flight planning or uh, before entering uh, terminal areas. As we can see, the beginning of the message contains the name of uh, airport of terminal zone which issued this uh, message. Uh, in general, there, there should be ICAO code of the terminal zone, but for big uh, airports, big terminal zones, it's normal to give uh, to bring their name. So Rosinia is a name of the uh, Lima Kilo uh, Papa Ramer airport. Uh, next uh, thing that we hear here, uh, letter kilo, it's a sequence key of the message. Uh, so all messages uh, starting from the beginning of the day are uh, sequently uh, coded by uh, aeronautical alphabet, starting by Alpha, Bravo, Charlotte, Delta, and so on. You can uh, download this alphabet from the uh, Google, to, can, from the my site or Google it. So uh, digits are uh, time when this uh, message is issued. Uh, this time is given in uh, Zulu time, it's military uh, definition of uh, United Coordinated Time. Okay, let's move to the next part of this message, which contains NOTAMS info. NOTAMS info is uh, information necessary for pilots like 
the aerodrome condition, uh, which runways are in use or closed, which taxiways are in use or closed, and transition level altitude. I mean uh, current transition level. Transition level can be changed uh, in significant weather changes uh, when uh, barometric pressure is uh, uh, significantly changes. So uh, we will uh, talk about the transition level uh, later in a separate video. So let's uh, move on to the next slide. We start with a weather condition uh, description of the message, uh, which contains uh, the meteor issue time. Uh, time when this uh, meteorological report is uh, issued. So now we hear information about wind, uh, about uh, wind direction and wind velocity. So wind direction is given in uh, magnetic azimuth. So and uh, wind velocity in knots. Uh, one knot knot is uh, one nautical mile uh, per hour. Uh, which equal to uh, 1.8 uh, uh, kilometers per hour. So in case of wind uh, direction and wind velocity are not constant, there can be uh, uh, more detailed information. There can be given uh, the range of uh, direction and uh, uh, gusts velocity, as we can see in example. Let's move to the, with the visibility description. In our example, visibility is very good. So, um, so this visibility means horizontal visibility from the point of view placed on the airport. So in case of low visibility, less than uh, 1500 uh, meters, uh, with visibility is given uh, from uh, runway lights in uh, meters. So in this example, uh, last four digits are distance, the horizontal visibility in meters. So runway 24 left is the runway uh, where we are referring to when we des describe uh, horizontal visibility. So now we hear a few 3700 feet. But this is a description of uh, cloudness type or phenomena type and uh, the ceiling of visibility, of vertical visibility. Uh, uh, this is a lower layer of cloudness. So here we can see the list of cloud coverage intensity abbreviations. Uh, let's uh, discuss separately about KOK. Uh, KOK is uh, Abbreviation for ceiling and visibility OK, uh, indicating no clouds below 5000 feet and uh, no cumulonimbus or towering cumulus oh God. at any level. <clears throat> and horizontal visibility is uh, 10 kilometers or more and no significant uh, weather change is expected. Here the list of uh, coverage intensity abbreviations. Starting from sky clear, this is uh, the visual description of uh, intensity. So no significant clouds, uh, the same as for KOK. Uh, non, uh, no clouds below 5000 feet and uh, no towering cumulus or cumulonimbus in the area. So the next four abbreviations are the intensity is given in octus. So uh, zero means uh, no clouds, and eight means uh, overcast, so 100% of cloudness. So it's easy, now let's move to the weather phenomenon description. Okay, this table uh, speaks for itself. Uh, we see here four columns with the uh, descriptor, first is uh, with the descriptor of uh, phenomena. Uh, the second one is uh, abbreviation for precipitations. Third one column is um, the descriptor of uh, phenomena uh, is the, uh, not uh, precipitation but uh, reducing visibility and other phenomena. So I would like to mention here the uh, those uh, abbreviations could be could go together. 
uh, for example uh, frozen rain could go together or something like you know drifting snow and so on so uh, uh, let's talk about VC. VC means in the vicinity of the aerodrome, of the terminal zone. So it means that this phenomena uh, observed not exactly on the, this aerodrome, this airport, but in the area, in the somewhere around the area, in eight kilometers of uh, area around terminal zone. Here comes temperature. So we can see here the current temperature on the airport so dew point temperature in case of uh, the negative temperature we can add here uh, the negative uh, sign negative mark so uh, dew point is is a temperature when uh, the uh, moist the moist in the air in current humidity precipitates or comes out as uh, water on the surfaces so when we have temperature and dew point temperature close together uh, it's dangerous because uh, um, when temperature drops down in when you're flying it uh, can have uh, consequences in the form of icing on the uh, surface of the aircraft here comes barometric pressure the pressure of the air in the terminal zone so barometric pressure is given in q and h it's uh, pressure adjusted to the sea level. It's a special Q code, one of the Q codes. Actually, I don't remember the origin of this uh, exact this code, but uh, for uh, metals we use uh, Q and H. So uh, pressure is pronounced separately. I mean, uh, in this our example, we can hear one zero two five. This is a pressure in hectopascals. It's our unit of measurement. In other countries, can be used other units of measurement but uh, here we use hectopascals so we must finish it with chunking this message except a trend description in our message was uh, no sig uh, it means no significant changes are expected uh, within two hours of uh, the uh, time of uh, this uh, atis of the observation so in case if there would be tempo it means that uh, uh, some uh, temporary deviations are expected uh, in two hours or when we know uh, the range when some change could come so we could hear the phrase becoming from uh, some time till uh, some other time so this is a period when some significant change could be could become in this area okay here is the final part of the message where we can see uh, the uh, sequence key of uh, this message that we talked about earlier so it just reminds us that we finished the listening of this uh, exact this uh, uh, message with this sequence number okay let's listen to this message one more time uh, but before moving to this I would like to notice that uh, this PDF file is downloadable so if you need you can uh, go to website uh, to the a free downloads page and download it. Good evening, Virginia ATIS information. Kilo 17 V0, ILS approach, runway in use 24, transition level 50, next to way Charlie, closed, Meta, Raha, issued F17 V0, winds 240 degrees, planar not visibility 10 kilometers or more, Q3700 feet, temperature 5, U.2 PNH 1025 hectopascals, no sick, you have received ATIS information, Kayla. Good evening, cruising your ATIS. So, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you really did, you can go to my website and find out some more. So, see you later.